back to my YouTube channel, TBG Family, my man. Subscribe to the channel, man. When you come across my video, man, just press subscribe on my videos. When you come across my channel, press subscribe on my videos, man. I want to get into this video, man, today about White White. You know what I'm saying? White White from an old block. You know what I'm saying? He went by White White Whitey. You know what I'm saying? King Von was, that was King Von best friend. I'm talking about they was best friends to the end. I'm talking about best friends. They were best friends, boys, nigga, they slept, nigga, at each other's houses, nigga, wear each other's clothes and shit, nigga, like, nigga, on some real shit, nigga, like, he was young, he was a young dude, he was a young dude, like, I think he died, he got killed, um, he lost his life to gun violence at the age of 15, I think 15, 15, real young, like, real young, you know, White, white, you know what I'm saying? But that was King Von best friend and shit, you know? If y'all go look at King Von video, you know what I'm saying? The last video he dropped, you know what I'm saying? He tell you all about it. He tell you all about it. White, white, you know what I'm saying? White, white, you know what I'm saying? He was right there when he got killed and shit, you know what I'm saying? But King Von was in the store. And he was in the store. And his homeboy was outside on the bike and shit, you know what I'm saying? And the, um... Some other nigga rolled up and shit on a on a bike and killed his best friend. Like shot up the store. Like shot up shot at the store and shit. And then he lost his life to gun violence. You know what I'm saying? But he was real young and shit. You know what I'm saying? Real young. He, white White died at a young age, man. Like he died at like 14, 15. You know what I'm saying? But you know, he's a Chicago legend, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a Chicago legend, bro. Like he was from like he was and from O Block, you know what I'm saying? That that was the hood. And he was like, you know what I'm saying? He was out there in the streets, man. He was out there in the streets, nigga, doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to get on with that rapping shit, nigga, and take care of his family and shit. You know what I'm saying? And he looked up to King Vaughn, and King Vaughn looked up to him and shit, you know? I'm talking about that, like, they was dogs, nigga. They was best friends, nigga. Like, they were best friends, nigga. King Vaughn would die for him, and he would die for King Vaughn. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and a lot of niggas, like, a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas was, um, shit, had love for, had love for him. A lot of niggas had love for him. You know what I'm saying? He was loved in the hood. He was loved in the city and shit. A lot of niggas feared of him, you know, like young people, because he was young, so the people around his age and shit, they feared him, you know what I'm saying? Because he was like 14, 15 and shit, so he basically, you know, he had street credit. He had a name out there in the streets at a young age and shit, you know, and shit. A lot of teenagers, a lot of kids, and a lot of people were scared of him and shit, you know, because I guess he, you know, he was a real dude. He was a real dude, like, basically, he was down to earth and shit. He had a good heart, good soul and shit, you know, but, you know, he was down to earth and shit, you know. He was, like, basically a hustler. He was a hustler about his money and shit and trying to get his family out of poverty. He was trying to get his family out of struggle and shit, you know. He was trying to get on with the rapping shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And he basically, he, him and King Ron was at the wrong place at the wrong time and shit, you know? And when it's a war out there and shit, you know? When it's a war out there and shit, you could get hit with a bullet, nigga. And, it, 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 you know, it, you got you could just be at the wrong place at the wrong time, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. But, you know, White White, he was good, nigga. He was good with, he was good with the sports, basketball, football and shit, you know? He could have um he could have got a scholarship playing football or basketball, you know what I'm saying? And shit, you know, but he really was about to um fuck with that rapping shit and do that rapping shit, you know. But like, you know, he lost his life, man, at an early age to gun violence and shit, man. You know, so like, man, my prayers go out to him, man. My prayers go out to his family and his loved ones, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of motherfuckers on the internet, a lot of people on the internet, they think this shit is a gang. This shit ain't no gang. This is real rappers and real people losing their life every day. You know what I'm saying? You know, they lose their life every day to gun violence in Chicago or in Detroit, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you got to cherish your life while you're here on earth. You got to cherish your life. You got to do the right things on earth, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, you know, you got, um, we could be here today and be gone tomorrow, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, and that's why, you know, it's like, you got to pick your crowd, you got to pick the people who you want to hang around with, you got to pick the motherfuckers where you want to kick it with, who you want to hang around with, because you could kick it with 
um, some some dudes and shit, and you don't know what they into, you know what I'm saying, you could lose your life over kicking in with that, that group or that person and shit, you know, you know, but man, that's why, like, people gotta cherish their life and shit, man, you know, people gotta cherish their life, they gotta cherish their friends and shit, and cherish their loved ones and shit, you know, but Rest in peace to a Chicago legend, bro. He was a Chicago legend, man. He was a motherfucking Chicago legend. He was a legend, bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you young and you get your name and you young, you hella young, and you got a name and you buzzing in the streets and you got love in the streets. You know what I'm saying? You got love in the streets, but also you got hate in the street because you from that area or you from this block. So, of course, you're going to get hated by the other people on the other blocks because you ain't from them blocks. You know what I'm saying? You ain't from dates. They... They, they block and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, you're going to get love for your people, but then you're going to get hate for the other people, you know what I'm saying? You know? But rest in peace, man, to the Chicago legend, man. White, white, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, man. My prayers go out to him and his family and his loved ones, you know what I'm saying? He died at a young age, man, due to the gun violence. That's why, man, black people got to, we got to start using our motherfucking brain and shit. We got to put the guns down and pick up the books. Put the guns down, pick up the books, man, and do something with our life and shit, man, while we on earth, you know what I'm saying? Because we all got to die, and we all got to be judged, you know what I'm saying, by God. You know, a lot of people don't believe in God, but you know, shit, man, he's real, you know what I'm saying? He's real, you know, but make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel down below where it says subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, and I need thumbs up on every last video I drop. I need y'all to just thumbs up on my video, you know what I'm saying? I don't need you to send me no cash app, no donation. I just need thumbs up on my video. Let me get 2,500 thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Because I do this for y'all and I love my fans.